Lots of excitement about Obama here in his hometown. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live at City Hall with a look at the effect Obama is having on Chicago. Vince. Good evening there, Ann. There are signs all over town that this city is giddy following Barack Obama's presidential election. Case in point, these flags just outside of City Hall. Perhaps their red, white, and blue colors tonight are a bit more vivid now that we broadcast in high definition. But at any rate, there are more than banners waving in the breeze. Some say that they can actually feel a new sense of pride and patriotism that's actually in the air. Hot off the presses, proclaiming an Obama victory, thousands of extra editions of the Chicago Tribune. And I can't find them in the stores. Scooped up everywhere, the hunt for just one copy sounds exhausting. So I was waiting outside the Walgreens this morning for them to open. Starbucks was already sold out. Went to Dalton, Illinois, South Holland, can't find them. But look up and down the long line outside Tribune Tower, and the crowd seems downright pleased to be there. It's just a peace on the city, can't you feel it? Don't you feel this piece? Travel some 50 blocks south to the z &H Deli, and they'll answer yes. And they come up to the register, and there's everybody saying, Happy Obama Day. It's the afterglow of an historic moment written in Chicago. But it's palpable, and in the, it, it brings itself right in the door. It comes straight in the door, and it follows everybody around. Naturally, we had to follow around a fella whose Obama-inspired plates almost read, Yes, we can. Love my place, love my car. Smiling folks have hung their horns at Dwayne Bryan's ride for some time, but today he feels something different. It's like uh, energy. I see people are more kind, people are talking to each other. I will never forget who this victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. A message sinking in with young men selling shirts proclaiming, yes we did. I'm part of something important. Feelings they'll be writing about for quite some time. Now, if and when the feeling ends, folks might want their souvenir papers. Both the Tribune and the Sun-Times report selling extra editions of 200,000 copies each. You notice I could find a Trib, but I couldn't find a Sun-Times. They're already selling on eBay, Rob, for $100 a piece. Uh, but I just have to ask you, you just certainly noticed with people today, they seemed just a little bit more happy, didn't they? I think they did. I think all across town, uh, it was certainly palpable, Vince. Thanks. Well.